Hello everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to give you guys another video on, uh, this is a strategy that I, it's using these indicators, the paid indicators that I've talked about in my video. Uh, this is an easy way to find at least 1% a day just by day trading. And uh, I think you need, I think you need two of the indicators at most, uh, the, uh, the paid indicators that I've been talking about. It's up to you guys if you want to go get them. Uh, I'll put the link below for the, the guy's YouTube channel and uh, the links uh, links to get the indicators. In my opinion, they're well worth it because they help me, well, they really help me find the the spot of where I can come in and, and then the spot where I can sell. So let's just use Bitcoin as an example because that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing right now. Right now, um... Let me show you what my 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 play is here, my trade. Uh, what I what I look for here, and you're gonna need, you're gonna need the buy versus seller indicator, at least, and also the price with money flow indicator. It'll help you see things more clearer. Uh, so what I personally did is I came in right about here. I think it was here. I came in around here, and what I'm basically doing is, I, well, actually, I think it, no, it wasn't here. It was, uh, it was down here where they buy sellers. So I waited for the dip. Basically, you, you look at the buyer versus sellers, and what the buyers versus sellers indicator basically is, is when it dips down, uh, that's when everybody is selling, and when it dips back up, that's when everybody's buying. So you also want to look at the uh, the well money money flow. It's uh, when you also when well money goes down, that means the whales are selling. When it goes back up, that means the whales are buying in. So my entry point right here, I I, I bought in right here, and I'm I'm waiting for just the price to go up. I'm waiting for all I got to do really is wait for this line to go up just a little bit further to the top and I'm just looking for a 1% maybe a 2% so let's kind of look at how much I probably would have made so far let me just look so if I measure this all the way to where we are right now I've made about Right now, I've already made about 1%, but I'm not going to sell till it goes up another percent or so. But anyway, that's just kind of the strategy that... Let's make this smaller. Okay, so basically, you look at your buyers versus seller. When the thing is dipping below the red, that's when you go in. And then you just sell. When, when you see that line going anywhere, anywhere above to where that... that position is and you should get some kind of gains out of it so you see that that this is one percent since since i came in let's look at another situation now the first thing you want to look for is look at the buyers versus sellers and i'm just going to scan through here and see when that happens this is a good point right here it's not completely on the low but So, there we go, come on, there we go, okay, so this point right here, you'll know you'll get some gains because, well, it's, it's not all the way at the bottom yet, but it's, it's up to your own judgment, but let's just see how much this is right here, this little move, so from here, and then you just follow the buyers and sellers, and that is a 4% right there. Four hours, you made 4%. So let's look at another example. So all your, and you also need to make sure that when you make that move, you want to look at your price for your, your money flow as well. And they both have to be dipping at the bottom there. 
Okay, so let's look at another example. We're just going to look for the buyers and sellers if we were to be as low as possible. Now here's another example right here. You see it tipping the bottom there. So I'm going to measure right here, right about here. So I would come in at this part and I would just hold until you see a little bit of an, this one's not going to be that much, but, uh, well, actually it is. It, we're looking around 2% here. So let's look at another, another one more example. Here's a good one right here. We look at the buyers and sellers. We see this, they're all the way down at the bottom here. The well money flow is on the bottom as well, so that's a good sign. Uh, so I'm just going to measure this right here. If I got in right here, and then I just waited till the top, I would have made, that there is a 6% increase in 16 hours. So this is a pretty, this is pretty accurate on, on getting your, it's how I find 1%, 2% a day. I just followed this strategy. But in order to do this, you would need these two indicators. They're both paid indicators. So it's up to you guys if you want to get them. Uh, link will be below if you guys want to get them. I'll talk more about these strategies in other videos. Uh, anyway, other than that, if you guys like these videos, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.